For about five years now, Albert Maganda's family has been taking care of their 70-year-old father who has been battling the effects of a brain tumor. We went for a checkup in Bali. He was given a treatment, which was continuous. So what we, we advised from Bali to take him to uh, Butabika Referral Hospital. And since 2020, the family had been consulting on the problem until they were referred to Mulago for brain surgery after CT scan detected the tumor. When I talked to him, he responds and he is conscious, he knows. Yeah. So there is improvement. This is one of the many families that had been on the waiting list for this kind of surgery. Dr. Edgar Muhumza is the head of the neurosurgery department at Mulago Hospital. Our target actually was 60, 50 to 60 patients. Dr. Muhumza says the long waiting schedule is exacerbated by accidents, especially the border border. Because every day we see over 20, I think about 20 patients in casualty. On the other hand, the acting director, Dr. Rosemary Vyanyima, says a boost in the resources would improve efficiency. To run efficiently without any deficiencies, any patient going out to buy this and the other would need like 100 billion in terms of uh, funding to uh, give us enough medicines and sundries, apart from uh, more theater space, more experts to do the surgeries. The hospital currently has six neurosurgeons. There is no known cause for brain tumors, but Dr. Muhumza says the symptoms are indicators and may include excessive headache. Headaches that don't respond to painkillers associated with vomiting, we call it projectile, it comes with force, visual disturbances. Now, Every month, at least 60 people present with brain tumors at Mlago and may require surgery for relief. Walter Mwesije, NTV.